In this video, let's take a look at section 2.2, number 9. In number 9, we're trying to find four different things. We're trying to find, first of all, f of 1. We're trying to find the limit as x goes to 1 of f of x. We're trying to find f of 0 and the limit as x goes to 0 of f of x using the graph that we have right here. So first, let's take a look at part A, what's f of 1. f of 1 is asking us what is the point directly above or below the x value 1. So here's the x value 1, and we're saying, is there a point directly above or below the x value 1? Uh, there's nothing here. This is an open hole, so there's nothing above. Below, there is a point. It's at negative 1. So f of 1 is negative 1. All right, let's take a look at part B. Part B is asking us, what's the limit as x goes to 1 of f of x? So as we come at the x value 1 from the left and from the right, are we getting close to something? If the answer is yes, this thing has a limit. If the answer is no, it does not. As I come from the left and as I come from the right, the y values are getting close to something. They're getting close to 1 even though this point isn't actually there. They're getting close to 1. So the limit as x goes to 1 of f of x is 1. Now let's take a look at part C. Part C asks, what is f of 0? Well, f of 0 is just saying, is there a point directly above or below the x value 0? And there is. It's above. It's right here. And so f of 0 in this case is 2. And the limit as x goes to 0 of f of x says, as I come at the point 0 from the left, I'm getting close to something. From the right, I'm getting close to something. And the value of y that I'm getting close to as I come in from the left and I come in from the right is also 2. <coughs> These kinds of examples are really important for us to understand that the functional value and the limit value really have nothing to do with each other. They can be different. They can be the same. Uh, one is not tied to the other. So just because you know what something's functional value is, it doesn't really mean that you know what its limit value is.